There is no explanation behind today's video. There's just not. It's a weird, weird video. Because of this channel, everything that I do in my life now is like, I wonder if I could shoot that. I wonder if that would be a good target. I wonder if that could stop a bullet. So, I was walking down the aisles at Walmart, doing some shopping. I saw the gum, and I thought, could gum stop a bullet? So, I literally bought five pounds of gum, formed it into a massive gumball, and uh, today we're gonna shoot it. We're gonna see if gum can stop bullets. This thing was a beast to make. I had the packs of gum sitting in my truck for a while so that they could be in the heat under the sun and everything and just kind of soften up, and I literally had to knead it like bread to make this thing. It just, it's a beast, five pounds of gum. No, I did not chew it and form it. I just, because it was sitting under the sun, it was soft enough that I could just kind of ball it up and roll it out and stuff, so. Yeah, if I had to chew this stuff, my jaw would be broken. Um, so yeah, we're gonna set it down on this piece of cardboard and start shooting at it. As per usual, starting out with the 22 long rifle, I have no idea what to expect. No idea. I've seen people shoot the giant gummy bears, but this is just a completely different ball game. No idea what to expect here. Full metal jacket, 22 long rifle. Fingers crossed that the 22 did not go through because that would make for a very, very boring video. Looks promising. There's the holes right there. Actually went pretty dang deep, dang it. But they did not come out of the gumball. So somewhere in there are two 22 long rifle bullets. So moving up now, I gotta get rid of this gum. Ugh. Moving up now to handgun, 9mm. Gonna be shooting the Glock 43. This gun is a 9mm, super small, so it's very easy to conceal. The only bad thing about it though, is that it's a single stack, meaning that it only holds six rounds. So, not very cool. I think it's always good to have more bullets, but whatever, here we go. 9mm, I think my gumball is going to fall apart, honestly. It spun my gumball. Oh boy, not looking good. I didn't hit on the fat part though, that's the thing. I hit right at the top, so it only had to go through like that much gum instead of that much gum. So we're gonna call it a hit and that it went through. It's cause I don't wanna shoot it too much with the handgun. I mean, obviously we gotta go to bigger bullets. So this video might not be that much fun, but the 50 cal will just completely tear this gumball apart. It's AR-15 time, boys. It's going straight through. No way, this gumball is stopping it. Full metal jacket, 223. <laughs> Starting to realize I should have bought 10 pounds of gum. What was I thinking? Ooh, wow, yeah. So this is where I hit, and if you looky, right here, it just tore up the back. Completely. There was no way that gumball was gonna stop that. What was I thinking? That's all right, that's all right. We're going 308, we're just gonna shoot it with all the rounds. 308. Here we go. Well, good grief. Good grief. Tore this gumball apart, look at that. Dang it. That is a small target to hit, but we're going 50 caliber. This is a short, quick video, but we're just gonna, we're gonna end it big with the 50 cal to make it somewhat fun for you guys watching. So, oh, okay, the final bullet, 50 caliber. Here we go. Jeez Louise, it got it all sandy. Kicked it off the box, but it just ripped a massive hole through the center. Now it's like a donut, pretty much. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, gum cannot stop a 50 cal or an AR-15 or a 308. Pretty much it just stopped 22. So, I mean, it would take hundreds of pounds probably, a hundred pounds of gum to stop 50 caliber. Guys, I'm on the hunt to find something that will stop the 50 caliber. Not only stop it, but catch it. I thought that gum would just slow it down and catch it and we would have a perfect bullet. So, give me your ideas. I don't know, we gotta find something that will stop this 50 caliber. So let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next week.